Okay, so today we are going to go over some random stuff and I guess we'll kind of learn together because uh, I'm no professional. So... So, first of all, let's see, where are the modifiers? And I know what some of the modifiers do, and I don't know what they all do. Let's see. Um, by the way, there's one of these that, uh, show you the object information. I, yeah, I, this is it. It's the one that looks like a little box. Um, and then, you know, here's all the different values, so if you want to rotate it, you click in here, and, for example, let's put 300, and it's going to Rotate it 300. Control Z. Um. So. Uh, oh that. That's location. Okay. So yeah. If you want it to. Rotate. Uh, 300. That's 3000. 300, um, so it, it's like that, um, if you want to change the transforms, you can go there. And this is good if you wanna, if you have like two different objects and you want them both to be the exact same size, you would put the same numbers in here. So, hold on. I could go Hold on, uh, if a, that looks pretty cool as it is. Okay, so, the, Cube is one point four eight one point four eight zero um see the cube is
Exactly 1,000. Wow. Okay. All the values are the same. But uh, that's just to show you that. And then let's see. There's the modifiers. That's constraints. Um, modifiers. There they are. So you can go. Um, let's see. Where's screw? Um, smooth just makes it smooth. Um, you gotta put another thing in there. Uh, let's see. And screw. Where is, oh, Array is a cool one, watch, and then you go, wait, let's see, as I said before, the range engine is a little bit different than Blender. I mean, it's the same thing, so. Um, count, there it is. Then go up, and it adds more, go down, and it adds less. Um, so you can then go over here and be how that's how much space you want between it. Um so yeah if you want it to Um, yeah, uh, let's see, I wanna e exit that out, and let's see, where's the screw modifier, there it is, and that just pretty much Twist it. Um, yeah, see how it makes it all twisty. Um, this is a little bit different than Blender, so, and then, um,
the solid modifier, or is it? Solidify all, all that does is make it a solid object or mesh, whatever you want to call it. Um, that doesn't necessarily add collision. And, um, so I don't know what all the modifiers do. I guess I'll have to research that. Then what I really wanted to get at today is, uh, sculpt mode. So, I'm not an expert at, well, I'm not an expert in, uh, Blender or Range Engine, as you may or may not know. Um, so... Press T to bring up the tool shelf. Um, you have to go down to Dentopology, or you know, you can do it without Dentopology. Um, that it'll just take you forever. And then you, uh, I mean, I guess it would work at 50 or whatever. And so this one, hold on. Then, uh, wait, do I have my sphere selected? Okay, that's why it wasn't working. And then, uh, yeah, there's add. You'll have to play around with some of these, um, then there's, uh, the blob. Um, yeah, if you move it all the way up, it goes pretty much um insane ooh I like that um 
there is the grab. Um, so this one's if, like, you have a character and you want to make clothes. Yeah, so there's that, and then, um, then There is this one. Uh, not really one hundred percent sure what it does. Okay, and then there's Phil, uh, where is it? Yeah, there it is. Phil deep in. So. Basically, like, I guess you really want to use this for, like, um, if you want to make terrain um by the way you might need to watch some other tutorials i'm not the best really anything on here and that's probably not the most professional thing to say um, and you see this, uh, fills or deepens, then, um, if you go back, into object mode and you hit Z you'll see now there's all these vertices um and if I didn't tell you guys about the three different data types that make up your mesh is um Okay, there's vertices, which are basically the dots in the corner. Um, there's edges, which uh, connect the dots. And then there's faces, which is the part of the mesh that you can't see right now. Um... So, 
Um, then I wanted to quickly go over let's see uh, motion tracking scripting the uh I don't think this one is the one I wanted to go over motion tracking um I'm not 100% sure how this works but I know you open a video and then um somehow the uh your mesh is supposed to mimic the movement in the video uh also the uh the 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 the, the, the um drawing a blank here you'll have to forgive me um and i know that wasn't a very good uh a very good tutorial but you'll have to forgive me for now and I will see you guys in the next video.